Okay, we've been waiting on some parts here, so we've been waiting, screwing around. So when this came in, this came in with a menagerie of this strap, which is no problem. Plus this chain here, which looks like we hocked this from Amish Andy. And that's what we use to raise this up. So that's just looking for a trick of disaster of dropping your transfer case from the top rope. So we made him off this little bracket here so he can just hook the hook in here and then with that that pretty much when you set the transfer case in there it'll be pretty straight so your mounting's over here so you won't have to fight it trying to straighten it out it'll be pretty much lined up it'll drop in plumb i guess is what i'm trying to say So we burnt that out of some plate, bent that up, used two of the PTO bout mounting holes and bolts and bolted on there. Should make it way easier and a little more safer than this mess of my bullshit here. Okay, so we had fancy lifting bracket over there, the transfer case. We got nothing really fancy to lift it up with the forklift. A little cherry picker does fine. So we're gonna make a little slip on thing for the forklift. Your hook will go in that hole. Your hand will go in that hole to slide it on. The fork will go through that hole. And we'll pin it on with that hole. And then this should kind of act as a guide so our ribs don't get caught on our hook. We'll probably wreck it faster than the old Amish Andy chain rigging, but we'll see. Here's all our pieces nested out. It's going to take about a foot by a two foot piece of plate. And then that's all the parts that we're going to need and we'll burn them out while they're up. super heavy duty shit but at 
used to have a little something that you got a hook on the end or a point on the end that doesn't slide on the fork. So you at least got somewhat control over what you're lifting. Remcorp made a real nice set for the one forklift we got at work out of some heavy like D-rings that go on a semi-trailer and some big heavy square tubing, rectangle tubing. They turned out nice. Two of them he's got. Of course, of course we left, forgot to weld these pieces in. That would have spaced that out perfectly. Of course we got this in there cockeyed. It doesn't really matter, but if we'd have just done it right, it'd have come out better. But we're too stupid to do it right. My party's a real big hit today. All my friends came over. I wish some of the guys I worked with would have showed up. But, you know, maybe next time they'll come.